Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy, Nick Arg here. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a great day or night so far. In today's video, it's going to be my first ever story time. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for this. We're going to talk about the time where I was actually running from the cops. So I know this seems a little bit crazy, you know, like me running from the cops. Nick, what are you talking about? You're like the most nicest and positive guy. Okay, I don't know about that part, but I hope this story is like out of the ordinary. You guys weren't expecting it because I want to start off this series with a bang so I can show you guys my life because I want to build a special connection with you guys. The main reason why I'm making these type of videos is because I used to watch like the old FaZe Clan back in the day and they used to just sit down and play video games and legit just tell stories about their life and I could like relate to them in ways. So the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to relate to you guys in different ways so that's why I'm telling my stories if you guys want to see another story time on my near-death experience I want to hit 25 likes on this video so I know you guys want to see it so if you guys want to see a near-death experience story drop a like on the video and with all that said let's get right into how I was running from the cops let's get it Alrighty guys, so this is where the new style of editing is going to come in. So hey guys, it's I'm Nick Arg here. I know you guys see me as like a positive person and all that, but I'm going to be showing you guys the time where I, I guess it's not so positive I was running from the cops. So I'm going to be showing you guys the time where I was. So it all started off with me and my old friend group. By the way, I don't talk to this friend group no more. I only talk to like two of them. So getting out of the way right now, I'm not friends with these people anymore. And we went and decided, you know, a weekend, let's, let's go to a bus depot. And it wasn't abandoned, but it was really necessarily in good shape either it was like if you guys don't know what the bus depot is it's basically after like the, the bus driver is done picking up the kids or whatever and they want to drop the bus off they would then drop it off in like the parking line they would get gas and everything like that so it's basically where a bunch of abandoned new old and graffiti buses were and I've been there like in the past, you know, like going in, seeing what it is, going out, go like I've been in there every now and then I'm gonna say, like, by the way, after we had this experience, we tried to go back there before, and the security around this place got ten times worse. So I guess after what we did, it kinda got a little bit better secure. I don't really know. But let's get right into what actually happened. So we decided, you know, we're gonna meet at my friend's house. You know, it was a good place to meet, it was a good place to chill. So we decided to go over there, and then after everyone meets there, we're gonna chill for a little bit and then we're gonna make our way over over to the abandoned bus depot so after we're all there you know we were talking we were chilling and we decided to go over there we were walking because we were in eighth grade at the time we couldn't drive so there are about eight of us there we decided to head out and so we started walking and we started talking and all that and then we saw two girls that we went to school with you're so like hey do you want to come with and they go sure so now there's ten of us walking there and we couldn't go through the main gate obviously because one it could be closed or two there could be cars driving by and they could see us walking in so we had to go through the back way i'm going to call it and it's not like a back way, like a back back way. It's like a different way you could enter, but I just call it the back way because, you know, it's pretty simple than saying, oh, a different way you could enter. So how you actually got to this place was you had to go behind a school. And once you're behind this school, you had to go through these fields. And these fields had tall, tall grass. I remember it was up to my shin. Wait, my shin? Yeah, yeah, it was up to my shin. And I remember it was horrible. I, I had to run through the grass. As I was walking through the grass, I asked my friend and I was like, dude, why are we doing this? And he goes, I don't know. Once we get through it, it'll be fine. So I'm like, okay, fine, let's go. And then we got through and then we got there and then two of my friends were like oh I had to go home I don't really like this anymore so he was like okay we decided he can go home whatever and then my other friend said I have to go eat dinner but I'll be back soon remember he said I'll be back soon so I'm like okay the second when you're here and he goes okay so both of them leave one one goes to eat dinner one goes home because he doesn't like it and then we get there and I realize that the front gate is open so I'm like okay keep in mind I said the front gate is open as well so this is when the story starts getting really, really good, but hold up, pause real quick, pause. You're probably thinking right now, Nick, what is the objective of being there? Like, what did you want to accomplish there? Well, there was actually an abandoned building and there was two buildings. There was an abandoned one and there was a working one. I've been in the abandoned one and the working one before, but I decided, you know, what, I'm going to climb this time. I was super into parkour at that time. So I was like, you know what? Let's do it. My friends are like, let's do it. A couple of them were like, eh, do I want to climb it? I was like, yeah, screw it. We're going to do it. So all of us were back there as we were walking to the abandoned building. That is when I realized that the gate was open so that's when I realized it was open but we actually went to the abandoned building and as we were up there you know we were messing around we were climbing and all that there was actually I almost died while climbing this building it was kind of scary I'm not gonna lie so I guess you can call this like a near-death experience story and as well like a running from the cops story but real quick I'm gonna actually explain what the climb actually was so the first story I had to get up it was like a ladder you know you had to get up on the ladder but the second part you actually had to climb up and keep in mind once you climb up there you had to like climb to another part it was pretty freaking scary imagine like a triangle and you have to shimmy across the triangle roof and just picture this right this picture you holding on to a piece of wood that is like a bunch of years old and it could fall 
fall off any second. Like, I was legit relying on this piece of wood that I was holding. I don't know. It was crazy. So, I guess I, I kind of died-ish. I mean, I was near death experience for dying as well of this. Dude, it was one of the crazy experiences of my life. But nothing happened to me. I was totally fine. You know, it was a pretty fun experience. I was saying to my friends, like, um, oh, oh, I'm just going to go across as fast as I can. So as we were going across, you know, we were having fun. We were chilling up there, climbing stuff, taking some pictures for Instagram and all that. We then, I mean, I then got a text and a call from my friend that, well, that went to go eat dinner. So he came back. As he was walking in here, he said there was a cop car outside. So we're like, oh, snap, it's our chance to leave. We got a skedaddle, skedoodle. And we were like, oh, my gosh, what are we going to do? So if you guys picture, right there, there were two parts of the building one of us was one one side of people was on and there was people on the other side of the building so we're like don't come over here it's going to take too much time so as we were chilling i know we were figuring out what to do and all that i real i told them guys the gates open so we decided you know we got to go to the gate but what actually happened was all luck so we were like oh my gosh a car is coming so we all got down on the roof as we were peeking up we saw a car go by and then we saw a cop car behind it. We were like, oh snap, it's our chance to go. And then they were going left. Our chance to get out was to go right. So like, okay, it is our chance to go. We were still on top of the building at this time. So like, you know what? We had to jump off. So imagine if you're if your room, right? If your room was like on top, imagine jumping out your room window. That is what we had to do. It was insane. It was so much fun in my opinion. Like, I just love, I just love this experience. I love telling it. That's why I want to tell the story. So imagine jumping like 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 off a one-story building onto your onto the ground. It was truly insane. I didn't land it on my feet i landed on my feet but then i landed on my butt at the same time it was kind of weird kind of a weird experience but i remember it was in slow motion right i was like i was like i fell but then i was getting on my phone was like nick get the heck out of there so i was like okay and then we started running but the thing is as we were running right i wasn't running as fast as i could you know you think it right as you're running from the cops people that could arrest you ruin your life you would think that you'd be running actually pre pretty fast right i wasn't running as fast as i could and i don't know why i still don't know why i wasn't running as fast as i could but keep it short we, we, we ran into the gate, we ran into the gate, and we met up with my friend, and you know, and it was funny, after we were done doing this, we looked behind us, and we saw the cop car going the other way, so if the cop car would have turned around, if it would have went the way that we were going, we, we would have gotten caught, and it's crazy. And as we were running, right, I didn't even look back. I just kept running and running and running. And after that, because we were messy and all that, we needed a drink of water, we were hungry, we decided to go to Wawa. And we were super paranoid at the time. We were like, oh my gosh, is the siren coming for us? So as we were at Wawa, I mean, as we were walking to Wawa, we saw that there was a cop car in the parking lot. We are like, oh my gosh, is, is the cop car coming for us? What's going on here? Oh my gosh, what's happening? So we decided to go in Wawa anyway. Screw it, we're going in. We can just, we can just leave if we absolutely positively have to. Even though, like, what we knew, you know, it's not going to be like a cop car from over there. There's no way that's possible or we just didn't really care that much of it So we decided to go on Wawa. I went straight to the bathroom I washed my hands I got something to eat got something to drink and we all were walking home and as we were walking home to my back to my friend's house We were thinking about we were like dude if we would gotten caught our lives would have been like changed Probably if we would have gotten like a ticket for trespassing it would have gone on our record We were thinking of all the bad things that could have happened and we honestly talked about this for like weeks on weeks on weeks It was truly insane. It was honestly one of the crazy experiences of my life But that's all I have for you guys in this video. This is my first ever story time i know i kind of jumped around a little bit i talked really fast because i don't want to make the video 20 minutes long on my first ever story time if you guys enjoyed this ready and you haven't dropped a like in the video yet i really appreciate it because if you guys want to see another story time let's break 25 likes and i hope you guys did enjoy this video once again if you made it this far into the video thank you so much for watching i'm not going to stretch out the 10 minutes i'm not going to do that it will make sure make sure you make sure you that make sure you leave a con i can't do it i can't do it now try not to be doing this make sure you leave down below your comments if you have any stories as always if you have any story ideas and make sure if you are new to the channel if you made this far into the video make sure to subscribe you will not be disappointed by subscribing to the channel i promise have a great rest of your day or night and i'll talk to you guys tomorrow with a brand new upload and i cannot wait to see you guys there peace